Hey guys, it's Prince Rich with Rich Technology Group, and in today's video, we're going to do a quick and in-depth demo of the Vonage desktop app for 2023. And here with me today, I have Dwight Martin with Vonage to be the expert to show you guys what's under the hood. Dwight, first and foremost, thank you so much for being here today and for the time and for your expertise. How are you? Hey, it's doing good. Glad to be here, Rich. Um, glad to walk you through some of what Vonage has to offer today. So thank you for having me. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much for the time. And it's been a while since we've done a demo on the Vonage platform. So I'm excited to you know show the viewers some of what's new. Before we jump into that, can you share a little bit with the viewers? What specifically is your role at Vonage? What do you do over there? Yeah. So my name is Dwight. I am a solutions engineer here at Vonage. I work out of our Atlanta office and I primarily I primarily work with our small and medium-sized business representatives, but I've been with the company for 10 years and, you know, my specialty is, is customizing solutions for our customers. Awesome. Awesome. 10 years, man. That's a, that's a minute. So, but, but while we're on the subject of that, Vonage as I know it has been around for, correct me if I'm wrong, 21 years approximately at the time of this video, but there's still a lot of people, despite the fact that even internally here at Rich Technology Group, we joke and say that Vonage is like Walmart. Everybody knows the name. Everybody's heard of it. There's still some people out there that have never heard of the name Vonage. Um, quickly and briefly, can you tell the viewers, for anybody who may be watching that doesn't know who or what Vonage does, who is Vonage? So we are, Vonage is a global unified communications um, solutions provider. We also have contact center solutions as well as an API division for communication APIs. But we work with businesses of all sizes. A lot of people may know Vonage from our old residential days where we provided alternative and low cost solutions for yeah. long distance calling. But over the last 10 years, our primary focus is just really been within the business realm, again, providing various services to medium-sized businesses, small businesses, all the way up to enterprise level. Awesome. Awesome. And shameless plug for those of you watching before we jump into the demo, Vonage has been in our top three most recommended and also most requested providers for years. So if you're interested in Vonage, we work with Vonage on pretty much a regular daily basis. So anywho, let's jump right into this. Dwight, first and foremost, let's keep it basic. For the viewers, can you show them what the general basic dial pad inside of the Vonage desktop app is like? Yeah, absolutely. I'll be glad to show you that. So what you're seeing here on my screen is the Vonage Business Communication desktop client. It's a single client that's developed in-house that provides access to all of our communication channels. So not just call in and dial in, but checking your voicemail, SMS, our messaging or collaboration tool is built right in, as well as our conferencing solution, Vonage Meetings, that's also built directly into the application. But in terms of the basic user being able to make and receive phone calls, several ways that telephone call can be initiated. You can click this plus icon here to start a new call, which will bring up the dial pad with the ability to dial any telephone number, or you can click the contacts icon to get access to your favorite contacts and your entire corporate directory. So that's how a call is uh, initiated from, from the uh, desktop application. Okay. Okay. While we're on the subject of calling, the next thing that most people would, would want to know or see, at least I know I do, is the call history. What does that look like inside of the desktop app to be able to go see your history of made, received calls or outgoing calls and whatnot? Yeah. So the call section is built right into the application here. And to check your call history, you'll simply just click your calls tab over here. One thing that I do want to point out is there is a notification system that's built into the application. So if a user works away from their computer and they happen to miss a call, they will have a notification here saying the number of calls or voice messages or SMS messages that they may have received. And they can simply click on that to check what calls they may have missed or just scroll down and look at any call from, um, from their call history. Okay. 
Okay. Now I want to jump into some more general or intermediate controls. Can you show a little bit about, I mean, obviously for a desktop app, most people would be using like a headset of sorts, like what I'm wearing or something like that. Can you show a little bit about some of the controls in regards to microphone settings, choosing how you want your audio to be, and also some of the stuff like maybe like call transfer or call recording, like how that's accessed, like recordings and things like that? Yeah, absolutely. So I'll start with recordings. We have two options for recording calls on the platform. One is a broader base where admins will set the rules to the individuals or the user calls that they would need to record and manage. And those can be managed in our admin portal. But with our on-demand call recording, users have the ability to record their own calls and manage those recordings under the My App section here. So any call that's recorded in real time will be saved under My Recordings, and that call can be listened to, downloaded, maybe sent by email at a later time. Okay. In terms of settings for managing audio and audio devices, that's under the settings section here. So you can see there's a whole list of options, you know, from managing the audio to extension and voicemail. But audio, for instance, the application would have access to any audio sources. So today I'm using my AirPod, but if I had another microphone source, I can quickly just select which audio source I want to use as a microphone speaker, as well as for ringing the application with an incoming call. Okay. Okay. Let's move on to one of the things is probably my personal favorite reason to have a desktop app is contact management to be able to have that separated from anything personal contacts that you may have on your computer or something like that. Can you show off a little bit of the contact management inside of the Vonage desktop app and kind of how it works? Yeah, happy to do that. So under contacts, you know, and this is going to vary from user to user out of the box. Everyone will have the ability to manage their company contacts. So Rich, think of this as your internal directory, all of your colleagues that are on the same account as you have, as you are. So that's under company contacts, but then my contacts is where you're able to import any external contacts that's personal to you and make them available within Vonage. One unique feature about this is if you are also using our mobile app, any contacts that you've given Vonage access to from the mobile app will also be available on the desktop app. So, so there it's is synchronized. Synch gotcha. it, is, it is synchronized in that sense. And then above and beyond that, if there are CRMs and other systems that you've given Vonage access to, Salesforce, for instance, you'll be able to sync those contacts from a system or a platform like Salesforce, Office 365, so that you also have one-click accessibility to call those contacts from the Vonage desktop client. Okay, let's move on to texting because text messaging, SMS and MMS has become a big thing, um, especially by way of, in this scenario, Vonage desktop app and even the Vonage mobile app. Can you show off the texting area just a little bit of what that looks like? And can you also speak specifically to you guys' business number inbox feature? Because that is a big thing that people ask about. Yeah, so just to tell your viewers about our business inbox, uh, feature. Some people may not be familiar with that. Out of the box, Vonage will have the ability to enable any direct dial number numbers that are tied to the user's extension. We can enable that out of the box for SMS messages. So when an individual wants to initiate an SMS message, they can just click the new message icon. And by default, they will be able to send text messages from their direct dial number. Now where the business inbox takes this a level up is a business can now provision any marketed numbers that's not necessarily tied to a user's extension. Maybe it's an 800 number that's provisioned on an auto attendant. We can enable that for text messaging as well. But again, if you are sending a message you have the ability to send from your personal numbers or any main numbers if the admin has given you access to that you can send and initiate text messages from uh, main numbers and personal numbers that you have access to cool, cool. so 
Moving on, I wanted to ask you specifically, what are some of the major or minor differences between the Vonage desktop app and the mobile app? I know the desktop app is almost like a grandiose larger version of the mobile app, but what are some of the main differences or advantages of the desktop app over the mobile app? Yeah, that's a great question, Rich. So we've done as as much as we can. We've we've tried to mirror both of the applications so that there's a continuity there. You know, there's a there's a familiar use and feel as you're moving from desktop to mobile. But to your point, because of the extended real estate that we have with the desktop application, we have things like a dashboard. So think of an environment where you may have a receptionist that needs to manage active calls on the account. This call dashboard is one area where you can see in real time all of the connected calls that are active on the account. You can filter by those active calls. So it looks like on this account, Sean is on a call right now with a particular telephone number, and you can see how long that individual has been on a call. So this can be useful. So if somebody is transferring a call, they know whether to send that call directly to the individual, or maybe they just need to send that call to that person's voicemail. So because of the, the layout here, that's one feature that is highlighted in, in the uh, desktop application that's, again, not available in, in the mobile app. <laughs> They'd have to make bigger cell phones. <laughs> yeah. yeah maybe at, I don't that's know that I me. want a cell phone that big, but... <laughs> Well, hey, you know, there's a lot of tablets and, and foldables. You're, you know, know what? You're right. Know, gaining popularity, so you know, you, you might, you might, you might actually see this on on our mobile app one day. <laughs> you know, you kind of made me laugh at that point because that would be funny if Vonage added that to the mobile app, but there was like kind of like a disclaimer that's like must have Samsung Galaxy Fold right. or what. <laughs> <laughs> to, yeah. to implement such and such feature, but you are correct with what's going on with some of these flip phones that mm -hmm. extend or these ones like the Galaxy, I think it's called the Z Galaxy Z Fold. Z I can yep. see that being, but, 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 uh, but now I'm just speaking wishful thinking. <laughs> So <laughs> while we're on the subject of wishful thinking and above and beyond, before we wrap this up, are there any other new or noteworthy features in the desktop app that we haven't discussed that you'd like to show off to the viewers before we wrap things up? Yeah. So, you know, one of one of the things that I love about our iteration cycles is that we're constantly sourcing from our customers which features is useful to them, which features will they like to see added to not just the desktop client, but our mobile client. Within the desktop client, one of the recently added features is for a user that may be in a call queue. We now have the ability for that user to quickly toggle their state in and out of a call queue. So think of maybe a light contact center environment where you know a user may be assigned to several queues. And with this feature, it's really easy for them to see the queues that they're assigned to and quickly log themselves in and out of that queue. That's pretty cool. Yeah, just one of the features that we've recently added to the desktop app but we're constantly, constantly providing updates and even more importantly, sourcing these features from our users to see which updates make sense that we should add to the application. So one more thing I wanted to highlight, Rich, is just really the familiar interface that we have worked so hard to provide with the desktop and the mobile app. I mentioned earlier that the look and feel, we've gone through a great lens to make sure that the look and feel for the mobile app, it works well with the desktop app. So that way, if users are moving from mobile to desktop and desktop to mobile, the UI is very familiar in terms of um, how everything is laid out. So just wanted to, to add that in as well. Yeah, for those of you watching, we've always kind of joked around the office and said that Vonage is so easy to use, especially on like the desktop to mobile app level that my dog or my youngest kids can even figure it out. And it's always been hailed in our book as probably one of the easiest 
providers for just the way the interface is laid out for people to be able to navigate and feel like comfortable with, like not feel too technically overshadowed or overburdened. So um, if you're watching this and you're somebody that is looking for not only something that's robust and can grow with your business, but is easy to use, gives your users a not too technically invasive kind of landscape, then I would highly recommend Vonage. That being said, in closing statements, thank you so much, Dwight, for, for being here and for your expertise. I really appreciate you coming out to show us this. Absolutely. Thank you for having me and looking forward to doing this again soon. Yeah, man, for sure. So for those of you who are watching, as you may or may not know, Vonage, as I mentioned earlier in the video, has been in our top three providers, not only most recommended to clients that we consult with for free, but also it has been our most requested for many years at the time of this video. So if you're watching this and you're wondering, is Vonage right for my business? I can connect you up directly with our contacts at Vonage so that you can decide for yourself after they show you a demo and answer all your questions. You can decide for yourself if it is or isn't a good fit. And if you do decide, you know, Know what? I think this is a good fit. And I'd like to see pricing as an added bonus from going through us by referral. You're going to get access typically to special pricing that you can't get if you shop direct. So be sure to hit us up via our information below this video or on our blog. As always, this is Prince Rich with Rich Technology Group, the go-to guy for the best deals on business phone and internet service in the United States. And I'll catch you guys again in the next video.